Good morning, my friends. It's Friday, December 1st, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. I found a depiction of St. Peter since we're reading the first letter of Peter. It's a beautiful depiction from 1473 in Milan, Italian artist. Peter is often shown with a book because he illumines the scripture for us in his letters. And also with keys, because in the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus says, I give you the keys to the kingdom. And whenever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whenever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Peter goes from being a, a real idiot in many ways to a true leader simply because he turns himself entirely over to Jesus. After his betrayal, he stops trying to do things his way. And in that transition, he truly becomes the founder of the church. I love this depiction of him and his ruggedness and his getting older too. Remember, he lived another 30 some years after Jesus's resurrection. So he would have been old for biblical lifespans. <clears throat> In 1 Peter today, Peter writes, I want you to be ready to give an accounting for the hope that is within you. An accounting for the hope that is within you. Peter knew that once we believed in Jesus and once we were baptized, there's this light, this hope, this permanent, eternal life that resides within our hearts. God will never leave you. God will not abandon you. God will always be there. That faith in Christ is something that you can count on, even though life will be like a roller coaster going up and down. The one unchanging thing is the love of God. Even if you suffer, God still loves you. And Peter is saying, be ready to give an accounting. So people are going to ask, what makes you tick? Why are you peaceful? And you will begin to tell them about the hope that lives within you, about what your faith does for you, how it assists you, how it helps you determine steadfast love of God um, instead of relying on the fluctuations of this world. It is a solid place upon which we can stand. So Peter encourages us to be ready to talk about it, not just when no one wants to hear, but when there's an opening. Be ready to give an accounting for the hope that is within you. Remember, it's not a certainty, it's a hope, but it is steadfast and true. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the hope that lives within us, that we don't fully understand, but that keeps us steady when times are good and when times are bad. We thank you for the strength that Peter found in Jesus. May we too find that strength, that hope that is within us and learn that it is steadfast. We ask you to bless the sick today, Lord Christ, to bless those who mourn and those who are dying, the hungry, the addicted and mentally ill, those who struggle with homelessness or incarceration, poverty, aimlessness. We ask you to bring peace to this world, to the Middle East, to Ukraine, Somalia, Sudan, and all the nations of the world that are torn apart by violence and strife. We ask you to give us a reverence for this beautiful earth that you've given us. Prepare us for the coming of your son as we approach the days of Advent and help us learn about the light that is illumined inside of us that is the hope of your son, Jesus. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.